I recognize the gentleman from Texas, Mr. McCall. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, you know, uh, the 9-11 Commission recommended the use of biometrics for those entering and leaving the United States, and I believe that uh, technology is our friend in stopping terrorists and bad actors from enter entering this country. My understanding is that the, the entry-exit program, uh, American citizens can't opt out of that program. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. So there's no requirement that all Americans have to be subjected to this. No, but people have to establish their identity. Yeah. Once we determine, either through manual review of the passport or by using the technology, they are a U.S. citizen, they're excluded from the biometric tracking requirement. Right. But they can opt out of having their <clears throat> picture taken to yep. make that determination. Last Congress we passed out of the committee, uh, my bill, the Biometric Identification Transnational Migration Alert Program, otherwise known as BITMAP. Now, I know this is a nice program, not CBP, but it passed overwhelmingly in a bipartisan way on the floor, 272 to 119. And it reauthorized a successful program started under the Obama administration that, that Secretary Jay Johnson and I talked a great deal about. How can we use BITMAP to identify when these people are coming into our hemisphere that we don't, they may change their names multiple times along the route to get to the United States, yet their facial recognition, their biometrics don't. Their names do, but not their biometrics. This has been, in my judgment, a very successful program in keeping terrorists, human traffickers, and bad actors out of this country. It's critically important because, as you mentioned, people do change their biographic details. And, you know, most of our, our, our watch list um, searches are biographically based. Um, but if we can identify people, especially people traveling via air, that we have national security concerns about and they're entering our hemisphere, if they're entering in Central or South America, we can work with our partners down there and establish by, on a biometric basis who that person is. So no, no matter what identity they show up in later, if they show up on the U.S.-Mexico border, we can run the biometric confirmation to see, well, who were they when they first flew into the hemisphere? So it's critically important. And the travel documents can change and passports are stolen and Absolutely. manufactured. Absolutely. And that, that's not accurate, but the biometrics don't lie. Correct. People, people change documents, steal documents, borrow documents, purchase documents. It's harder to alter them now, but you, the, the ability to get a legitimate document that you know, looks like you, and if you can pass by the visual inspection of somebody glancing at the little two-by-two two photograph on it, yeah, yeah, and that's where the risk is.